Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today is another video of using Lovable and designing inside of Lovable. Now, Lovable just released their themes and visual edits. So I just wanna test it out today and kind of show you how it works. So if we go to Lovable, as you can see, there's this drop down over here called theme and it has a few like some of these like uh, preset themes, nothing special. You can't really click on them and, and, and preview them. Um, as you can see, if I just click on this brutalist one, it just selects it, but I can't really preview it even if I right click. Um, but we can go to this gear icon and this is where you can basically do the previews and all of the preset themes, they're kind of random, right? So today what I wanna do is I just wanna show you how you can create your own theme in Lovable and I wanna also show you how the themes look like once you generate something. And I'll also show you some tips and tricks on how to improve your overall Lovable design because even though Lovable is a very powerful tool and it's growing, there's a lot of users, design is not Lovable's forte, right? So I just wanna be here and kind of show you guys my ways of how to design inside of Lovable. But before we dive into today's video, I'd love to invite you guys to my Discord community. We are a bunch of different startup founders, designers, developers from all around the world. And we get together every single weekday to talk about different tools, different topics, different challenges. So if you guys are interested in joining these calls, link to my Discord is down in the description below. Anyway, so like I was saying, we have all these default themes over here. And when we click on this gear icon, you can kind of switch through them. You can click a new theme, right, as you can see, and we can, for example, change the, the color of the primary of the primary color, right? So we can make it like this, or we can make it red, or, you know, we have all of these different options. We can't really, or, or yeah, we can choose the, the hex code over here, and then you can make it pink or whatever, but this is gonna be, this is gonna take quite a long time to actually build out, you know, because not only do you have to set up the primary color, but you have to set out the primary text you have to do all of these things down here. You have to set the typography, the effects, and you also have this light mode and dark mode. And as you can see, we're just editing the dark mode. And then when you switch to light mode, you have different primary colors, different secondary colors. So you have to do it all over again. Now you can also import a specific theme, right? If you click on import, we have this CSS file um, input over here where, you, where we can just paste in an, a CSS file. Obviously it's very important that we include variables like primary, background, etc but maybe some of you guys don't have this and you want to add it into your into your Lovable project. Well, there's actually a really cool site, it's called TweakCN, and basically in TweakCN over here, uh, you can browse through a bunch of different like template themes. So for example, we have this bold tech, we have this caffeine one, we have this graphite one. Um, I was yesterday looking at the super base one, I really liked it. And you can, for example, switch through the different dark mode and light mode like this and see all of these different like UI interfaces, um, these UI examples, right? So I can, for example, switch to caffeine, switch to cards and we get something like this. And then once we wanna bring it into Lovable, we just click on this code tab and copy this code. And then we go back into Lovable and we can just paste this in here, click on import and it's done, right? We have our CSS, CSS imported and we could just switch to dark mode and it's dark mode looking like this, right? Looking great. But in terms of our video today, I don't really like that design. Let's just choose something like this. So we can go code again. Let's just copy this code and let's bring it into lovable import, paste it in like this import. Now we get our rounded, rounded buttons. But as you can see, the topography doesn't really, it doesn't really like sync, right? So we have, these these numbers that look really nice. And if we go over here, it's plus Jakarta Sands and we have Seraphont Laura. So we have to kind of replace this and look for our plus Jakarta Sands and kind of manually do this, right? Anyways, once we do this, we now have a better design based on what we wanted, right? It's, it's looking good. And let's save this as new. Let's call this Violet Bloom. And now let's save this new theme. And now if I go over here, it's gonna be at the very top Violet Bloom. We can select that and then we can go ahead and write our prompt. So for today, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be building a minimalistic portfolio website with lots of white space, soft topography, subtle transitions. It should include a homepage, four project pages, an about me page and a resume page. Then I gave it a little bit of context as to how the different pages should look like. And let's go ahead and click on submit. All right, and now we hear that little bling from Lovable. Let's go ahead and wait for it to load up. Okay, and we get our portfolio page. 
Let's just make sure that this is a little bit larger just so that we can see portfolio, home, about, resume. This is our simple title, our works, right? We get, we get the themes that we want, as you can see with the colors and with the fonts and everything, but it's still, it's still kind of quirky. It's not so nice. We get our, uh, we get our, our blog detail page or our project detail page, but it's not really, I don't know. It's not really nice, right? There's nothing, it, it kind of it screams AI generated, if that makes sense. And we can go to the about page over here to kind of see how that looks like. So about me, image placeholder, we have this, and then we just have a simple bullet point list. We don't even have a footer. If we go to the resume, all right, we do have this, which is nice. We have this like timeline view, which I asked it for, but it's just, I don't know, it's it's it's, it's pretty simple. I, I, I would say that this is my favorite page out of all of them because I'm very disappointed with the home page. For example, like even the alignment is not so nice, but hey, it did get the style correct in terms of the fonts, in terms of the coloring. So at least that's good. And now for the past months, I've been using Magic Path to help me design pages and components inside of Lovable. And what we can do is we can try to build out the same thing. So I'm just gonna double click over here and paste in this prompt. And now we just wanna apply that theme, right? We're gonna go back into Tweak CN and get the same code, copy this code, go back into Magic Path, click on themes, import a new theme, paste this in here, click on apply, and we get our theme. So let's just go ahead and check. Yeah, everything looks good. Click on save. We're gonna call this Violet Bloom again, and click on save. And now we're just gonna select that Violet Bloom theme, and we're gonna create the same project inside of Magic Path. And we're gonna see what the difference is, right? Because I would want to kind of use this and bring it into Lovable, right? So let's go ahead and submit this. And in the meantime, while we wait for this, we can just scroll over here on the right side because this is a, this is an infinite canvas view. And we can go into a website that we really like. So for example, we have wired.com and this is a specific story in wired.com. And what I can do is I can open the Magic Path Chrome extension and we can select like this entire section over here, copy it into Magic Path. So we're gonna copy this to the clipboard, go back into Magic Path. And I'm just gonna paste this in here and we're just gonna wait for these two bad boys to load. And notice how when I pasted it, we also have this Violet Bloom. So it's gonna get this specific design from this website and apply that style already to the design. And already for this copy that we get from wired.com, we get something like this, which is looking great. And what we can do is we can just say, you know, hey, let's turn this into the style of like a, a portfolio, right? So instead of it being like the actual content of that article page, let's make it like a portfolio project page. And for our Magic Path page, we get something like this, right? With our hero section looking very nice. We're eventually gonna change this image over here and we can select one of these. We get our project page is pretty short, um, but we can you know, go back and bring in that other page, replace it in here. We have our about page, we have our resume page, as you can see, much better design, I would say, than the other one, right? And I really like this hero section, for example, with these little gradients that are floating around and with this kind of word having like this little animation. And going back over here, this is the other page that it generated, right? And we have like these sections over here, like with outcomes, with quotes. So it's kind of redesigning the style that we got from Wired, right? With this style, but adding our own like tweak CN design system from here. And now what we can do is we can get this component and bring it in here, right? Replace that product detail page with this, all right, so now when we scroll down, we can see, we can click on one of these and we get our design from the other page, right? We get problem, process, outcome, et cetera. And let's say, for example, we don't want this little line. Let's say, for example, we don't want this little line. We can just double click on the design and scroll down to where we find it and go like this, bloop, delete, and just repeat it with the other ones. And then once you're done with these edits, we can click on the save up here on the top right. And for example, if you wanted to change this image, we can go over here, just double click on the image, replace the image over here with the background fill, choose your own image. So for example, I have one over here and boom, we have our nice little profile image of myself. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on save. And let's say we end up not liking this purple color. What we can do is we can get uh, this create variance button and click on three over here. 
and we can say different color, right? Experiment with different colors. And then we end up getting different designs. Like for example, this, right? I can scroll a little bit down. It gives us this like copper look. And I even asked it to change the images. So it's not like empty, as you can see. This one is actually pretty nice because it gives us like this blue look. And we have this, like this nice blue color uh, around the image. Anyways, let's just choose this one. And now the next big step is to bring it into Lovable. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on code. And right now we have two different files. We have this article reader and portfolio app. And basically article reader is our blog page over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click. I'm just going to copy this entire code from this particular homepage. Copy this. And when we go into Lovable, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let's replace the homepage or let's actually re let's replace the website with this, right? And we're going to paste it in like that because again, it's not only the homepage, it's also the about resume and the works pages, but it's just going to probably have that original works page. And we're going to probably have to like separately add in the code later for this works page. All right. And then slowly but surely we have our website looking like this. So we can check the other pages as well. Boom. We get it very, very nice. And let's look at these, at these pages, right? I click on this and we get the original one, right? We don't get the, 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 the new one that we added. So if I actually kind of like the original one, why not? You know, but if you wanted to add the other one, all you'd have to do is just do the same thing. Click on code and just copy this specific page, this specific um, code over here, this file, and then paste it into lovable and say like, Hey, lovable, just replace the project page with this code. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any other questions or any types of comments, please let me know in the comments below. And like always, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye.